Outbreak Prime has released in Destiny 2, and today we're going to go over a guide for the first three steps um, of the quest. I will have a video later discussing the actual mission once I complete it myself. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you start this quest is you're going to go to the rig on Titan, and you're going to follow the route on screen where my warlock is going to run to a specific locked door on Titan going through these across the bridge and going through this hive tunnel I you can see I got confused here because uh, I was just looking around I have no idea what I was doing when I was recording this uh, I'm doing a post back commentary post commentary to all the recordings so that we can get a pretty good understanding of where I'm going on the map um, so while we're following this route, Outbreak Prime is an exotic primary from Destiny 1 that has these nanite swarms that come off when you hit precision headshots and get kills and the nanites do bonus damage. They come from a particular enemy called Siva and um, it was part of the Rise of Iron quest. It had a much more difficult, um, it had a much more difficult quest in Destiny 1. And my understanding is that in Destiny 2, it's a much more simplified quest that follows a lot of the Whisper of the Worm tactics. Uh, Whisper of the Worm, that follows the Whisper of the Worm mission. Um, really quickly, uh, this is the first guide video that I'm doing on this channel, so if you have any suggestions or feedback, please leave it in the comments. So as you can see, uh, I'm using the Recluse and killing some ads. I get to the door right here. And this door is unlocked for my character. So you'll see I hold the unlock and I'll go inside. Um, if this door is locked for you, I've heard a couple different solutions. Uh, one, you may have to do the first adventure of the Rat King quest. And two, it's possible that there's currently a bug in the game right now where it just won't unlock the door on a character. And you're going to have to hope that on one of your three characters the door is unlocked um, I don't know if Bungie's confirmed the bug or not but anyway we're gonna once you get inside you're going to get this transponder thing and this is the initial startup to the actual quest my character is going to open it here in a second and when he does we'll see that there are six nodes we have to fill out and that's step two of the ultimate qu of the quest and uh, we're about to go through where exactly you can find these six nodes uh, across lost sectors on the EDZ. Um, so yeah, let's get into that. Alright, for the first node on the Outbreak Prime quest, you're going to load into the Trust Land, and you're going to follow the route my Warlock is following. I'm going, I made these recordings uh, pretty slow so that A, I could commentate them back to you guys to follow, and B, so that you guys could follow them without having to go back over and rewatch a bunch of the clips. So you're going to follow the... Um, you're going to follow the route I'm taking on the bridge to the outside here. You're not going to turn right at the street. You're actually going to fall off the cliff. And to my right, there's going to be a little cave hole right there where the lost sector is. This lost sector is called the... One second. As you can see, the you saw the Lost Sector clip name. I'm sorry, it's like a little bit far away and I couldn't see it. But anyway, we're going to go into the Lost Sector. We're going to follow the Warlock I'm taking here. We're going to follow the path into the drain, as you can see. And you fall down initially, keep going straight and off to your left slightly. And between the two purple boxes, you'll find the first node. And then as you'll see, my Warlock will open it up and you'll see that the first node is completed.
For the second node, we're going to spawn in on the Trust Lands, Trust Lands again. We're going to continue our path to the outskirts uh, where the bridge and street are. You can see I got a message from a friend. Um, this is node number two. Uh, we're going to head to the outskirts and it's going to be um, over by, I think, a waterfall cave area, Lost Sector. Um, and we'll get to it. You follow the street path here, close to where, uh, as if you were going to Zer's location from the Trust Land. However, you're going to stop at this bridge and take a right up the, up to the hill here where the Lost Sector is, as you can see. My Warlock will continue shooting at these. These are, should be pretty easy to follow, but again, give me any kind of feedback or information about how these guides are, if they're too slow, if they're too fast. Um, you'll see I'm opening my Warlock here. We're near the outskirts in the top left corner, and we're going to head into the Lost Sector. And we're going to follow the dark path down. Obviously, this is on console, and um, we're going to continue to follow this path. And you'll see it's in the Whispered Falls, obviously, and there's a slight drop down. Once you fall down, you're going to turn to your right, which is the opposite side of the waterfall, waterfall as you see there. We're going to head inside. You can obviously follow this path, and you're going to find the second node. That'll be note two, my warlock will show you uh, in the clip. For node 3, we're going to head back to the Trost Land, and instead of going left to the outskirts, we're going to head towards the Lost Sector in the church. Uh, it's just to the right. You've been in this Lost Sector probably a thousand times by now. Um, head down the stairs. This one's the Atrium, to be specific. That's the name of the Lost Sector. Um, once you're in there, go to the right, just follow the path. Uh, once you get to the section where the you kill that initial wave of dregs, you go down into the left and fall. There's a door just off to the left, um, and you go inside. There's a room off to the left, and you go inside to the back left corner, and the node will be there. Alrighty, node number four, we're going to be back at the Trost Land again, um, where the church is. Instead of going into the church, you're going to go to the Lost Sector to the left of it with the main captain boss. Um, obviously, this Lost Sector is extremely small, and um, all you have to do is head towards the chest. You don't even have to kill the boss or any adds inside. Uh, there's a little ledge right above the chest. You hop up on that ledge and the node will be right there. That's node number four and we only have two more nodes remaining. Uh, almost done with this node section. Once you complete all four nodes on Earth, you're going to head to Nessus at X and spawn into Exodus Black. Once you spawn in there, go off to your left left side where you'll go through the spaceship tunnels. 
um, and you'll come out on the Glades of Echoes, head down the middle uh, kind of street um, towards one of the first broken down buildings. Once you go inside of it, there's a lost sector in it, a lost sector entrance in it at the Glades of Echoes. The map will show you exactly where you need to be. Um, once you're in the lost sector, you're going to run through. You don't have to kill any um, ads or any of the bosses, um, and you're just going to continue running. There's going to be a boss and a chest up on top of a little platform, on top of a little platform that has a ramp leading up to it. Off to the right, there are some broken down walls and such, and it, behind some of the broken walls, you'll be able to see the node. This is probably the most hidden node of them all. Um, and as you can see, we'll jump up on this platform, look to our right of the chest, and there's these computer cartridges things, there's the node. You're going to walk up to the side of it, and you're going to acquire it via the wall. There you go. That's node number five. There's only one more left on Nessus. Once again, we're going to spawn into Exodus Black on Nessus for the final node. This time, the Lost Sector is in Exodus Black. It's actually directly straight across on the other half of Exodus Black on the other side. The Warlock got a little tied up there. And we're going to head into the Lost Sector with the Captain. This node is a little bit more confusing than the rest because it's hidden from certain views. So I'll try and do a better job describing exactly where this one is. But once again, you can always follow the path of my Warlock. I've tried to make these very slow. Um, anyway, we're going to continue through. You don't have to kill any adds or bosses. And once you get to the final room of the Lost Sector, if you look off to the left, there's a like carrying crate that would be on a carrier ship hop up on top of it because you can only access it from one side where the drop is so you can drop just around it like my warlock is doing and inside is the node if it takes you a couple tries that's okay and that's all that's it for all the nodes once you collect all the nodes we're gonna head back to the farm where we're going to get the next step Rendezvous, which is also the final step. The final step is at the farm, probably the reason it's finally populated once again. Once you get to the farm, go off and to the right, there's a little underground basement and if you follow the stairs and go to the back of the basement, there's a captain. When you hold square on this captain, make sure your fire team is together because this is going to lead to a mission very similar to Whisper of the Worm with jumping puzzles and adds that need to be killed quickly. It's 690 power, so it's very difficult. Um, I have personally not done it yet, so this is going to be where the guide is about to finish. However, killing the ads, going through the jumping puzzle in the 20 minute timer that you have. When you get to the final room, there's going to be some bosses as well as ads. Kill all the ads, kill all the bosses, and if you are able to successfully do that, uh, you will be rewarded the Outbreak Prime, which is now referred to Outbreak Perfected, and it's a very strong pulse rifle. I'll be doing a review of it in the Crucible later on. Once again, Bungie has done a great job designing a quest and a very interesting um, set of missions, and it's very exciting that this type of stuff uh, is coming out leading just up to Penumbra. So once again, hopefully you enjoyed the guide. Please give me some feedback. I'll be uploading my completion of the mission later on this week.